Welcome back YouTubers, Professor Chapins here and uh, made it to the Scott County Reservoir and uh, it's not what I was expecting to see. Um, of course I'm just now getting here but I got my bow, my gear, got my mountain bike, um, went past here and then came back and four deer just crossed <laughs> right here at this bridge so and then there's a trail right up here so I want to put my mountain bike in here and uh, to see if I can bike way back in there and uh, just find a good place away from everybody. I don't like putting pressure on other hunters so uh, just try to find a place way back in there to set my blind up and maybe possible camping spot because this is took us a while to get here from Lexington it took me about an hour so uh, maybe one of those top situations where we have to uh, for a few days which is fine we, we expected that and uh, so it should be interesting I've never used a mountain bike before bow hunting any type hunting so uh, it's going to be entertaining to say the least be sure you like and subscribe to our channel we work very hard and uh, I am this does take me back to Letcher County where I grew up uh, at, at our farm very similar just minus the big monster mountains so that's it Alright guys, so we made it back here uh, to Scott County Reservoir. I just pedaled probably about three quarters of a mile, maybe a mile, and uh, was very blessed to meet another hunter on the road that kind of gave me a heads up like where his stand was. I, I told him I didn't want to mess him up in any way, and, and uh, he said no problem, and uh, kind of directed me back here. So uh, one thing I'm learning is this area is huge. It's like a thousand acres maybe a little bit over a thousand. So uh, got my blind, my bow. Um, found a good little spot along the, a little creek here. Looks like they've been crossing. So I'm not going to try anything fancy. I'm just going to try to maybe set up on one of these ridges here where I can overlook this trail going across this creek. Um, I can see where they've been coming here. But see, too, we have to deal with uh, people on horseback which uh, we love horses, and I love all my horse people, and I respect them. So I just want to kind of get a, off the beaten path a little bit from where they're riding horses and kind of like uh, find one of these deer funnel areas where they're coming you know, off these ridges and then coming back and maybe uh, find a possible good location for my blind. So, so far, really impressed, though, with the area. Uh, very peaceful, very quiet. Um, may have to you know camp one of these evenings here which is fine and then uh, just uh, I'll get permission from the guy I talked to I don't want to tell you his name just right off he may not be comfortable with, with me telling you his name on camera but uh, I was going to ask him and I forgot but uh, if he gives me permission we'll feature him on the show and because uh, and, it's very important that you make good connections when you first go into the hunting woods this is the first time I've been here so um, just started talking to the guy and he's been uh, super nice. Most of us hunters are super nice people and generally want to help people. So uh, what you all hear in the news about us, about us being just killers and things like that, it's not the case. Most of us are really good, hardworking people that worked hard for what we got and just uh, love Jesus and, you know, want to do things natural. So anyway, guys, I'm going to head up on the ridge here. Found a decent spot, but gonna have to clear some of this uh, these limbs so I can have a shooting lane down through here. And that's why we call it make do. We make do with what we have, the tools we have, to accomplish the job. Probably a couple weeks. 
Prepared me a good shooting line. Now time to get the blind set up. nest in there. She's looking pretty good as a blind. So right in here got the blind set up and uh, a few trails where they were crossing down below close to the creek. So we're going to try to just sit in here this evening and see if we see anything. Um, I went to the top of the hill no hunting, no no posted sign, no hunting, and so uh, I turned around because uh, I got permission to hunt the uh, the reservoir here. But I'm unsure if that's someone's land or if the, the county put it up. I really don't know. It just said posted, no hunting. So I always turn around uh, when I see that, and I suggest you all do the same because uh, um, if you cross a no hunting no trespassing area sign, um, it can cost you your life, sadly. Uh, some people are that way. Uh, and see, and instead of telling you nicely to just, to just please leave, they'll just shoot you. So it's just best to just turn away from the no trespassing sign. That's what me and my uh, field staffers here at Make Do, that's what we always do. Uh, we always turn away from the no trespassing sign, respect people's property. These spider eggs are everywhere. We're losing daylight quickly, so let's go ahead and back out of here. Um, Saw four deer on the way in here uh, on the road, but they kind of didn't count. Um, but got in here, set up a blind, done a little scouting. Um, this is on new territory to me. So I'm going to be camping in here on some shows. Um, and then we're going to be camping at my farm in Ledger County, too, on the Kentucky Virginia border. That'll be a good show. So uh, let's uh, up on the mountain bike and uh, see if we can uh, see some deer on the way out. saw one doe right here she was walking through the creek and uh, obviously couldn't get a shot on her but she went up through there so uh, this area is definitely promising um, I'm gonna call it a day uh, appreciate you guys liking the shows uh, we work really hard 
make sure you go out and uh, subscribe to our channel, make do, and uh, we'll catch you out on the in the woods or on a pond, on a lake, or uh, in the ocean.